Now let's discuss your procedure. When you are ready, medication will be given through your IV to make you feel sleepy and relaxed. To make the examination more comfortable, your health care provider will also spray a numbing medication into the back of your throat, or you may gargle with it. This may taste slightly bitter and will make your mouth and throat numb for approximately 30 minutes. Then you will be positioned on your left side or on your stomach. A small plastic mouthpiece or guard will be put in your mouth to prevent you from accidentally biting the tube or the doctor's finger when the tube is slowly placed into your esophagus or food pipe. In order to help relax the muscles in the back of your throat and help open the passageway, you will need to take slow, deep breaths. You will then be instructed to put your chin to your chest and open your mouth. As the doctor begins to push the tube in, you will be asked to swallow. Swallowing makes the tube go down more easily. If you gag when the tube enters your food pipe, your health care provider will spray more numbing medicine on your throat to decrease your gag reflex and make you more comfortable. Once the endoscope is inside your digestive tract, your doctor will examine your stomach and pass the tube into the duodenum. While your doctor is examining structures, a photograph, biopsy, or cytology may be taken. A biopsy is a small sample of tissue, while cytology is a brushing of cells. To better see the area, your duodenum is gently filled with a small quantity of air through the endoscope. While this air may cause you to feel full, it should not be painful. This will help your doctor find the main opening where the pancreatic and bile ducts empty into the duodenum. Once found, your doctor will carefully insert a plastic tube into the duct and inject a small amount of dye. You may experience some discomfort or nausea when the dye is injected, but this should not last long. This special dye shows up on the x-ray screen and allows your doctor to see any blockages that may be present. Your doctor will repeat the injection of dye several times, looking at the ducts from different angles. You may be asked to switch positions during this part of the exam so that your doctor can clearly view all of the necessary areas. Depending on what is found during the ERCP, your doctor may perform several procedures through the endoscope. These include stretching a narrowed area and removing gallstones, to name a few. When the examination is finished, the doctor will slowly pull the tube out through your mouth. You'll be asked to clear your throat and spit out any saliva or phlegm. Your health care provider will continue to watch you for 15 to 30 minutes after the procedure to be sure you are recovering normally. Then the IV will be removed. The procedure usually takes from one to three hours, but this varies from patient to patient.